everyone dave here for peace camera in this week's video we're going to talk about the difference between a full frame camera and a crop sensor camera and why you'd want to choose each so here in front of me i have a full frame camera this is a nikon d810 and then i have a crop sensor factor camera here this is a nikon d7200 and then i also have a 51.8g lens which i'll get into in a minute um, and both of these cameras and lenses are for sale here at the store. Um, just come down and see us for our nice selection of used lenses. So a lot of times when people come in, they ask, what's the difference between a full frame camera and a crop frame camera? And why would I want to buy each one? So let's start off with full frame. It's called full frame because the sensor size is basically the same size as a piece of 35 millimeter film. Back before digital came out, 35 millimeter film was the gold standard. Um, so when they made full frame sensors, they made it because it's the same size as a piece of 35 millimeter film. Crop fact sensors are smaller sensors, so they, they're, they're a lot smaller. So when the lens uh, projects the image onto the image sensor, it's going to be cropped in um, because your field of view is going to be narrower. So that's why they call it a crop factor camera. Nikon's crop factor is 1.5, Canon is 1.6. Uh, I believe Fuji and Sony are both 1.5, and then if you shoot with micro four thirds, you're at a two times crop factor, so that sensor is much smaller. So now why would you want to choose one over the other? So with a full frame, like I said, you're getting a wider field of view. I'm gonna, I took some shots with both these cameras and this 50 millimeter lens. I put them on a tripod, I shot the same thing with the same settings, and I'll throw them up on screen now. You can see uh, the full frame camera has a much wider field of view where the crop factor sensor camera is actually cropped in um, again same spots same shooting same settings but you can see there's a much narrower field of view than on the full frame camera a full frame is also going to give you better low light performance at lower ISOs um, with the bigger uh, sensor it's going to allow it to allow in a lot more light um, which is why a lot of the pros shoot with full frame You'll also get a shallower depth of field on a full frame camera. So if you shoot, say, this 50 millimeter lens 1.8 on a full frame, your depth of field is going to be just a little bit more shallow than you would on a crop factor. The bokeh will still be beautiful on both of these, but you'll just get a little bit of a narrower depth of field on the full frame over the crop. Just also mind full frame cameras and lenses are a lot more expensive than the crop frame. So hence, why would we want to shoot with a crop sensor camera? Again, Price is one of the biggest things. Um, entry level cameras from both Nikon and Canon are going to run you about $450 to $500, where your entry level full frame is going to run around at least 1000 and up. Now, what are the advantages of shooting with a crop sensor camera? Being that you get a cropped in frame, you're going to get your lenses are going to be actually uh, better when you say put it 7200 2.8 lens on here. Your focal length, with you magnify that 1.5 crop factor, is actually going to be go up to 300 millimeters. So wildlife photographers, sports shooters, um, they really like these crop factors because it gives their long lenses and even a little bit more reach. But again, you don't have to do all that math in your head. What you see through your viewfinder is actually what you're going to get on the picture. The lenses for DX cameras are also a lot cheaper, but I always suggest if the money is in the budget, invest in full frame glass, because you can always put full frame glass on a crop sensor body, but you can't put crop sensor glass on a full frame body um, without either having serious vignetting or losing half your megapixels if the camera has to go into crop mode. On Canon, it's a little bit different. They have EFS for crop, um, and EF for full frame, and their full frame cameras only will accept EF lenses. EFS lenses will not work on a Canon full frame body. Uh, Fuji is all crop, so that means point. And on Sony, you have E mount for your crop and FE mount for your full frame sensor. So I hope this information was helpful to you. If you want to try out and see the differences for yourself on a full frame and a crop sensor camera, come on down and see us. Or if you have any more questions regarding this, we would always be happy to help you. You could come and see us at 5039 Falls and News Road in the Quail Corner Shopping Center, corner of Falls and News and Millbrook, or give us a call here at the store, 919-836-2222.
So if you like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single Friday. And make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button to be notified by email every time a new video goes live. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're shooting with full frame or crop and why you chose that. And that's going to do it for this week's video, and I'll see you all next week.